Welcome back to Top 10 Global, where we explore the darkest corners of history. Today, we're delving into the 11 most brutal torture methods ever devised. From ancient times to modern atrocities, brace yourself for a spine-tingling journey through human depravity. Remember, the truth can be more terrifying than fiction. And trust me, the number one on our list is a bone-chilling experience you won't soon forget. Stick around until the end if you dare. Let's dive in. Number 11. The Rack A medieval torture contraption that'd make your spine shiver. Picture this, a table with rollers on each end. The poor victim's ankles are strapped to one roller while their wrists are chained to the other. And here comes the kicker a handle and ratchet mechanism crank up. The tension on those chains, slowly stretching the poor soul out like a piece of taffy. As if that's not horrifying enough, over time, the joints start popping out of place, ligaments snap, and bones break. You can imagine the gut-wrenching sounds echoing through the torture chamber. It's like a twisted symphony of agony. But here's the kicker as the muscles stretch to their limits, they become about as useful as a screen door on a submarine. Yep, completely worthless. Now, you know those stories about rats abandoning ship when it's sinking. Well, let's just say if they could operate a rack, they'd be cranking that handle like there's no tomorrow to escape the same fate. Number 10. Rat in a Bucket The rat in a bucket torture. Yeah, you heard that right. Sick torturers thought, hey, let's get some rats and a pottery bowl involved, because apparently, that's their idea of a good time. So, picture this, they slap a pottery bowl filled with rats, open side down, onto the naked body of a poor prisoner. Then, just to spice things up, they pile red-hot charcoals on top of the bowl, heating it up like a furnace. Talk about turning up the heat! Now, these rats aren't exactly enjoying a spa day in there. Nope, their only way out is through, and that means gnawing through the victim's flesh to escape the fiery inferno. Can you imagine the terror? In one documented case during the Dutch Revolt in the 16th century, a prisoner of war endured this torture. As the rats chewed through his flesh and scratched at his intestines, things went from bad to worse. The torturers decided to up the ante by shoving those hot coals right into his stomach, scorching his insides. Ouch doesn't even begin to cover it. So, the next time you think you're having a rough day, just be glad you're not facing a rat in a bucket. Number 9. Necklacing. We're not discussing the latest fashion trend. This is some serious gruesome stuff, folks. Picture this, a rubber tire filled with gasoline, wrapped around someone's chest and arms, then set on fire. Yikes! And get this, it could take up to a tortuous 20 minutes for the poor victim to finally kick the bucket, all while enduring excruciating burns. Ouch! Now, where did this nightmare originate? Well, places like South Africa, Nigeria, and India saw it as a go-to punishment, especially in the wild 70s and 80s. Angry mobs would dish out this fiery sentence to suspected thieves and rapists. And as if that's not terrifying enough, Brazilian drug lords took it to a whole new level. Take the case of journalist Tim Lopez in 2002 kidnapped by local drug dealers, they went full on medieval on him, severed his hands, arms, and legs while he was still breathing then tossed his body into those infamous gasoline-filled tires and lit him up like a 4th of July barbecue. Number 8. Head Crusher We're not talking about Megadeth's song here. This medieval torture device was the stuff of nightmares, let me tell you. The victim's head gets clamped between a metal plate and a rounded iron cap, and then the executioner starts cranking away on the handle. Slowly but surely, that poor soul's skull gets squished like making orange juice. Can you feel the shivers yet? Now, here's where things get even more gruesome. As the skull caves in, bone fragments can puncture the brain, causing muscle spasms and, you guessed it, brain hemorrhaging. Talk about a real party starter, huh? But wait, there's more. If the torturer's feeling extra sadistic because apparently, just crushing someone's head isn't enough, they could go ahead and whack that metal cap with an iron rod, sending shockwaves of agony throughout the victim's body. Talk about adding insult to injury. Now, most of the time, this torture ends with the victim meeting their maker. But not before their jaw gets crushed and their eyes pop out of their sockets. Yeah, 
You heard that right, it's like something straight out of a horror movie. Number 7. Tucker Telephone It's the 1960s and 70s in Arkansas's Tucker State Prison, and the inmate doctors decide it's time to teach those unruly prisoners a lesson. Enter the Tucker Telephone and Electroshock contraption straight from the depths of hell. They'd wrap a ground wire around the poor guy's big toe, then clamp a hot wire to his, well, you know where. They'd hook up those wires to a modified telephone, crank away, and zap. Piercing electrical currents would shoot through the poor soul's body like lightning bolts. And prison, it's called a long distance call. Yep, you heard that right a series of electric shocks in a row. And here's the kicker if the inmate passed out from the agony which, let's be real, who wouldn't? They'd get a lovely wake-up call in the form of cold water splashed in their face, followed by another round of shocks. Because apparently, intensifying the agony was all part of the fun. If you complain about a bad phone call next time, just be glad it's not coming from a Tucker telephone. Trust me, you don't want to mess with this electrifying torture device. Number 6. German Chair if you're captured by the Syrian government, and next thing you know, you're strapped into this metal chair from hell. They secure your arms and legs to the seat, and then they start pulling the back of the chair down toward the ground. Yeah, talk about a spine-tingling experience. Now, here's the kicker this torture doesn't just mess with your back. Oh no, it's like a full-body assault. Your spine, neck, and limbs are all under severe stress, often causing permanent damage. Can you imagine the agony? One guy who managed to escape a Syrian torture cell described his ordeal. They stripped him naked, hung him upside down in the chair for 8 to 12 hours a day, for 4 days straight. Yeah, you heard that right, 4 days of pure hell. He was in so much pain that he begged his captors to put him out of his misery. And to this day, he still suffers from uncontrollable twitching as a result of the torture. Number 5. Flaying. Talk about a living nightmare. Because apparently, some people thought skinning others alive was a good idea. Yeah, it's as horrifying as it sounds. Some sicko grabs a knife and starts slicing away at the victim's skin, starting from the chin and working their way down to the toes. Talk about a real skin crawling experience, huh? And get this sometimes they'd take it slow, peeling off the skin in tiny sections. Until there's nothing left but exposed muscles, ligaments, and bones. I mean, who comes up with this stuff? But wait, it gets even worse. Even after being skinned alive, the poor soul could still be kicking for a few hours or even a whole day. Imagine the agony, and if that's not stomach churning enough for you, how about being severely sunburned and then having your skin peeled off? Yeah, I'll pass on that, thanks. Number 4. Impalement A real crowd pleaser, let me tell you. They'd strap the victim's arms and legs down, then slowly drive a big wooden stake into their body. Usually right up the backside, because apparently, they wanted to make it as excruciating as possible. And get this, they had to be careful not to make the stake too short, or the poor guy might croak from shock too quickly. Talk about attention to detail, huh? But hey, they weren't picky, they'd impale you through any hole they could find. From your mouth to your chest too. Well, you get the idea. And if you were really unlucky, they'd even impale infants on stakes forced through their mother's chests. Yeah, it's enough to make your blood run cold. And just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, they'd raise that stake upright, leaving the victim to slowly slide down with their own weight. It could take days for them to finally dead. Number 3. Brazen Bull Because apparently ancient folks thought, hey, let's turn torture into a demented music show. Naked victims were thrown into this giant brass bull statue, their screams echoing off the metal walls as they watched their tongues get snipped off with metal shears. Then, as if that wasn't horrifying enough, the torturers would light a fire underneath, slowly roasting the poor soul alive. Can you imagine the sheer terror as they realized they were about to become a human barbecue? And get this, the screams were muffled by the thick metal, but those sadistic torturers didn't stop there. Oh no, they rigged up brass tubes to amplify the sound of agony, turning the torture chamber into a symphony of screams. Talk about a real concert from hell! Number 2. Judas Cradle It's like the worst game of musical chairs ever. 
Picture this, a pyramid-shaped seat where the victim gets to sit while they are hoisted up by ropes and harnesses. But here's the kicker as they lower you down, the top of the pyramid lines up perfectly with, well, you know where. And let me tell you, it's not a comfy seat with your feet bound together, any movement just amps up the pain. Talk about a real pain in the you-know-what. And hey, if the victim didn't croak from shock, exhaustion, or being impaled, they could always count on an infection to finish the job. After all, the Judas Cradle wasn't exactly known for its cleanliness. Number 1. The Wooden Horse A form of torture during the Qing Dynasty was specifically designed to punish women who were accused of betraying their husbands. This cruel method subjected ancient women to inhumane physical and psychological torment, leaving no possibility of survival once it was employed. The apparatus of the wooden horse was rudimentary, a cylindrical wooden beam, with four legs attached, resembling a stool with a curved top. In the center of the stool, there was a cylindrical stick about two inches in diameter and over a foot long, symbolizing the horse's hoof. After being sentenced to the wooden horse, the female offender would be stripped, naked and forcibly pressed onto the wooden horse with the hoof inserted beneath her body. Unable to bear the excruciating pain, the woman would struggle, prompting four large nails to be driven into her thighs to secure her to the horse. Then, accompanied by the sound of drums and gongs to attract the attention of passersby, being displayed in such a humiliating manner on this torture device was a tremendous disgrace, compounded by the spectacle created for public viewing. Such a punishment, inflicting both physical and mental anguish, could only have existed in feudal society. If you were a woman of that era, even with 300 times your courage, you would not dare to betray your husband. And there you have it, folks, a chilling exploration of the 11 most horrific punishments ever devised by humanity. These barbaric techniques not only reflect the depths of human cruelty but also stand as haunting testaments to our capacity for inflicting unimaginable suffering. Remember to stay vigilant and compassionate in a world that still bears the scars of its past. As you reflect on these atrocities, ask yourself, are you grateful to be living in this era? Don't forget to engage with us by liking, sharing, and subscribing for more thought-provoking content. We're curious, which punishment do you find the most terrifying? Let us know in the comments below. Until we meet again, take care and stay safe. See you next time.